Hello everyone, um, welcome to the Math Zone and I'd like to give a very warm welcome to Mr Rubek um, and we're going to be playing a game called Thrice Dice. Okay, now for this you are going to need a hundred square and we've got one on the, um, the whiteboard here just so you can see what's going on but normally it would be one on the table. You need three dice, two different coloured pens, a rubber and we've got a bowl to roll in to stop the dice clattering all over the place, okay? So, in order to learn how to play Thrice Dice, I'm gonna hand over to the very capable Mr. Rubek. Okay, Hello so. there. So yeah, this is Thrice Dice. Um, it's a great game for um, learning all your different operations. It's for more confident children that already know um, their, their, their times tables, but it can also be for younger children because it uses addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. So as Mr. Davis said, um, the idea is we take the three dice, um, we choose which colours, so I would go first, I'll take the red, being an Arsenal fan, and you can, you can be green, Mr. Davis. That's right. Thank you very so, much. So, you try the, roll three dice. So I have got two fours and a three. So you can obviously do subtraction, um, multiplication, division, and... Um, what did I say? So, subtraction, division, multiplication, and addition, like I said. Um, and you have a minute to do it. So if we, we play the game, um, should we see if we can uh, see how I can cross off in a minute? And the way it works is I try and cross off as many as I can in a minute. Um, and then when I've finished, Mr. Davidson has a go to see if he can cross off any more. Um, and then he has a go, um, he throws a dice and he has a minute to cross off as many as he can. Um, we play two or three rounds and then um, the winner is the person with the most, most numbers crossed off at the end. So okay, that's great. Okay, so I've got a timer which I forgot to mention. Um, I'm going to set this set for a minute. So, are you ready, Mr. Rebecca? Would you like to really. roll again? Are you happy with that? No, no, four, four, three is fine. We'll do them, I suppose. Okay, and, and if you wouldn't mind uh, just telling us exactly the operation session, that would be great. Okay, ready, steady, go. So, we start off with the obvi obvious ones. So, I've got a three. So, three plus nothing plus nothing plus nothing is three. And I've got a four, so I can cross off four. I can then do three plus four, so that's seven. I could also do four minus three. So that's one. Um, I could then start thinking about adding more dice together. So four plus four is eight, um, plus another three is 11. Um, I could do um, three times four, which is 12. And I can add the four on, so that would be 16. Um, I could also do um, 16, four times four is 16, plus um, three is 19. And so he starts to run out a little bit. Three times four um, is 12, done that one already. Um, I've got four, four seconds left and I think I'll have to leave that one there. Okay, well done. So this is my chance to have a little go and see if I can use any of the three numbers to, uh, to get a score for myself. So I think I'm going to add the 3 and the 4 together to make 7, and the 4 sevens are 28, mm. so I'll take that one. And I think I'll also do 4 times 4 is 16, and multiply that by 3, which is, I think, 48. Um, and I'll sort of, I think I'll stop there. So now it's my turn. So um, I'll give you the stopwatch. Um, I'm just going to... First, so I've got a three, two, and a one, so that will be interesting. Uh, a little bit tricky, but we'll see what we can do with that. <laughs> okay, so you have a minute, yeah? Yeah, and um, I quite like this, dude, but it's quite nice to just have a little bit of time to look at the dice before we start. Mm, so, are right, you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Off you go. Okay, so three times two is six, and three times two minus one is five. Um, I've got a two. Now, can I make 9? I can. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. And I'm <laughs> a little bit worried that I can't do much else with it. Um, 10 and 13. Uh, to, to be honest, I'm not sure that I can. Right, um, I actually feel I can't. Um, if you think you can do any extra ones, then you can have them in your colour. It's quite low dice, isn't it? It is. Uh, eight's already gone. I think you may have exhausted all those options there. All right, so I, I, I'll, I'll accept that one. So I think what we'll do is we'll stop and I'll get you to roll again. Okay. Okay, 
reset. Set my turn again. This time I've got a five, a five, and a two. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ready, steady, go. So, looking at the top line, obviously I can get ten with a five and a five. So, cross that one off. And then I can do five plus five, the two, the twelve's already gone, so I can't do that one. I could do five plus two, which is seven, times five, which is 35. Um, and I could do, um, looking at 13, not really, five, 15s, I can do five minus two, which is three, times five is 15. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I could do five, I can do, no, seven is 35. Five times five is 25. Plus two is twenty-seven, and minus two is twenty-three. Um, you said five times five. And so five times yeah. five as well. Thank you, Mr. Davis. That could have been your one to pick off at the end there. <laughs> and then um, I think again five times seven. No. That's it. I think that's my minute. Okay, so that's the end of Mr. Rubik's second go, and then I would have another go, and if we agreed to have. Um, two rounds each. Yeah, then that's right. Can you see any more, Mr. Davis, from five and five on a team? Right. No, I'm not. I, I was waiting on your five times five to see if you pick that one up. Um, mm. You've got your seven fives at thirty-five. I think I'm not sure that I can get any because all the low numbers have gone. Fourteen. Why well, don't you have one more go? See if we can get some some high dice. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll hand over. Them. So obviously, the higher dice, the better, really, because you have more options, and we've had a couple of doubles, so it has to make it a bit harder. Three, two, and two. I, I'm, I'm happy to stop there. I think you've done uh, it was a good example. Yeah, of I have done the game. Thank you. Anyway, so, Mr. Rebecca, thank you very much for coming to the Maths Zone. My, my pleasure.